Olafs we know can sync up with Doombi at any time as Desi oh. Assassin's Mark. Shuriken flips there, but jungle's here! Doombi's out! It's clean as hell! Clean as hell. He manages to catch one. Vicky is in trouble. He gets taken out. First blood. Secured one. Akali is following. Look at one. You're coming! Oh my god! Thank you, production. Look at the speed. Oh, this Gwen is threatening so scarily. The needles Ooh, through the team! He also has the intervention on Pond. Almost goes down here, but he gets the brush control. The knife, the vision. Oh no! Trying to get the shutdown goal. Kajal is worth so much money, but look at the burst damage! Oh, it oh, 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 he's got one! He's got one! He's got one! He's got one! He's got He's got one! He's got one! He's got one! Hello, I'm Shox, and welcome back to Ultimate List, the home of all esports' craziest and most legendary moments of all time. This week, we're checking out League of Legends' premier glow-in-the-dark assassin and bane to marksmen everywhere, Akali. Dub in trouble, the five-point strike's good, that's the triple, that's the quadra! Harp's gonna be the pentakill, and Jovi, we said they had to kill the Akali, they didn't do it! Since her 2018 rework, Akali's become one of the game's most popular assassins, finding play every season as a powerful flex pick, whose kit can single-handedly swing a game in just one team fight. And what better way to showcase the champ's monstrous outplay potential than by looking at, in no particular order, the five greatest Akali plays in LoL Esports history. When Caps joined G2 Esports in 2019, everyone expected him to dominate Europe. The real question was if his new team could do the same on the world stage. And their first major international test came at the 2019 Mid-Season Invitational, when G2 faced off against SK Telecom T1 in the tournament semifinals. Dropping Game 1 after SKT exploited their scaling comp, G2 opted for a much more aggressive draft in Game 2, picking Caps Akali, one of the tournament's most popular champions that year. And G2's strategy succeeded, building themselves a huge lead, with Caps' Akali coming alive in the mid-game. A little bit of an exchange here. Caps has already used the perfect execution. Goes all the way back in with the flip. Five-point strike. Picks up a kill into Mata. Now Yanko's looking for the stun. That's a double kill for Caps. He flashes over the SKT's final stand came at their nexus, when they tried to flank G2 with Khan's teleport. Unfortunately for SKT, the result of their flank was a killer pentakill from Caps' Akali. That's an interrupt. Devastating charge. Delivers Perks into the back line. There goes Faker. Chasing down the Perks. Perks stays alive for now. Can't find the next axe. All of a sudden, though, it's a one for one. Support for AD. Yankos, as well as Caps, get themselves a reply back. Now Caps turns his attention to Khan. Faker's running low. He needs to get some regen. Whoa! He is popped by Caps. Caps is throwing out every single ability and turning his attention to Khan. It's a quadri kill. Should just about see. Seal the deal. Caps goes all the way to the steps of the fountain for a penta kill as G2. No Akali list would be complete without a play from Damwon Kia's star mid laner and resident Akali expert Showmaker. In goes Showmaker, gets into his shroud, oh, no, gonna get executed, no. and it's gonna be Akali that locks down oh. the dragon. There's the perfect execution. I love Whoa! watching this guy's Akali. There's few players in the world with as many Akali highlights as Showmaker, who's become so proficient with the champ, fans even gave him the nickname Show Kali. And among his many Akali highlights, Showmaker's best play on the Assassin has to be his incredible outplay versus King's Own Dragon X from the 2019 LCK Summer Split, engaging on the entire enemy team by himself. He's in an awkward spot in between the turrets. In goes Showmaker doing his thing on the Akali. But does he have the burst damage? He does have the Shroud and with an Ugri here as well. They're going to take him down 2v5. This is incredible, they're gonna get at least four of them here. Landing his shuriken onto Aatrox, Showmaker dashed in before using his ultimate and flash to kill Sivir. Then, with the second cast of his ultimate followed by his Q, Showmaker nearly killed Gragas and Nico, burning both of their stopwatches. Finally, Showmaker dropped his Twilight Shroud to avoid death, giving Nagari enough time to clean up the fight as Camille. Next up is an unforgettable Akali flank by Bjergsen from the 2019 LCS Spring Split playoffs. See, heading into the postseason, all eyes were on TSM, who failed to make the finals in 2018, a first for the veteran organization. And in the semis, it seemed like TSM would miss their third consecutive final, falling behind 0-2 versus longtime rivals Cloud9. 
And while Game 3 started out great for TSM, who dominated early, C9 made their comeback in the mid-game, taking Baron after finding a huge teamfight win. Slowly losing all their turrets, TSM needed to stop C9's Baron power play before the goal difference became insurmountable. And the person to do it was none other than Bjergsen, who ignited one of the greatest reverse sweeps in LCS history with a game changing Akali flank. Nowadays, Akali is one of, if not the game's most popular assassin, with pros picking her non-stop. But that wasn't always the case. Prior to her 2018 rework, Akali was seldom seen in pro play, picked only a few times a year globally. Though just because Akali wasn't picked much, didn't mean she was necessarily weak. In the hands of an Akali master, and given the right situation, the old Akali was just as deadly as she is today and decided to, to bail. Unfortunate for Quas. Oh, oh boy, my boy. gosh, boy boy going in on Man Cloud. That is a scenario of a longtime champion being played to new. There's the assault and battery coming in. The ball breaker can still pop him up. But wow, boy boy is just getting fed right now. And no game better illustrated classic Akali strength than Jin Air Green Wings' game two win versus Samsung Galaxy from the 2017 LCK Summer Split, AKA the Ixu Show. The LCK's first and only Akali sighting that year, Ixu's pocket pick got off to a rocky start, giving away first blood to Qvay's Kled. But once he found a kill of his own, Ixu became unstoppable, diving turrets and solo killing anyone and everyone before closing out the game with a flashy pentakill. Six levels behind, still jumping in the flash taunts here from Galio to add insult to injury. Double kill for Ixu, can Penta. he make it a triple? Well, this looks like the triple. Will Give her they a Penta. get the other? There's the mischain of corruption going in is Ixu and the hook the hook will they give it over there's the quad kill going for crowd will we see the penta, yeah! penta kill for Akali. and for the last spot on today's list we went to twitter to see what you all thought was the most epic akali play of all time and the most posted highlight was from ig top lane legend the shy Another play from the 2019 Mid-Season Invitational, the Shy found himself on the Rogue Assassin versus G2 Esports on the first day of the group stage. And despite a tough lane matchup against Wonders Vayne, the Shy's Akali eventually came online, capping off a beautiful performance full of solo kills with one of the slickest engages ever. Looks to protect Perk somehow, Belwan has been killed. If IG tries to continue the fight, they are gonna be four versus five, but the Shy goes and kills Jumping onto Perks' Nico after IG secured Baron, the Shy completed the solo kill with his Q and ultimate before flying all the way back to his team thanks to the shuriken he shot into his shroud moments earlier, even gaining a little speed boost courtesy of Vayne's Condemn. Huh, who knew a ninja cannonballing through the sky could look so majestic? I'm Shox, and that's been another episode of Ultimate List. Is there an Akali play we've forgotten, or do you have any ideas for future episodes? Let us know in the comments down below or on Twitter at LolliSports. Until next time.